What's up, y'all? Welcome to episode two of Progress. So, in this episode, we're going to be talking about non negotiable, setting rules and standards for yourself. So, an example of a non negotiable rule. Uh, I'll give a simple example like going to the gym being in shape being healthy that will help you think more sharp that, that will be better for your health better just in every aspect of your life because you will be somebody who's sharp and not out of shape so for me personally like a non-negotiable rule is not not being on social media so much in my house and putting a limitation on it because my house is already comfortable, right? I enjoy being at home, but social media is also going to raise your dopamine. So the combination of doing both those things is a complete time waster. I'm not saying don't use social media at all at home, but definitely have a limit to how you use it and when you use it. For example, I'll use it in my in my living room. Upstairs, no, because I'm a, I lay down and I sleep in my room, or I work. And but when I work, I want to be focused extremely. So that's not a good combination. And when I'm sleeping, I want to focus on sleeping. So it just doesn't work out. Because if you're if you're on your phone while you're trying to go to sleep, you're just gonna stay up longer. So it doesn't benefit me at all just using my phone in my room because it's also my office, my workspace, and where I go to rest. So, but this is just my personal opinion. So take everything with a grain of salt and do so as you please, and whatever you think is useful or considerable then think about it but till then i'm going to be speaking so i'm going to continue and yeah just do do everything experiment with everything and see what works for you for me it it was that example just not using social media so much when I'm trying to focus on something. Some people, they, they, they put their phone in, in another room while they're focusing. I think that's a good idea. And for me, when, when I decide to use my phone in my room, I'm using it right now to produce and not consume. So the most important thing for you is see something See whatever is important to you and use that to take up your time. That's the most important thing. And understand that there's levels to where you want to go. Before, I didn't understand this. This is something that I thought about myself. I I didn't find it from anywhere. This is something that I understood for myself. There's levels. There's levels to it. So, it's just... First, like you're gonna start off as a as a blank canvas. Then you're gonna be qualified in, in some skills and stuff like that, and then you're gonna go on, on the onto the next level, where you have these skills and qualifications, but you're also gonna have experience. And obviously, you're gonna continue your education, and then you're gonna be able to start growing another tree that can exponentially increase your money but to continue and focus on this journey of of just levels you have to understand and get rid of the bad habits so non-negotiable getting rid of the bad habits like i'm not gonna go on my phone when i'm in my room because when i'm in my room when i'm in my room i have to objectively focus on either sleeping or working either one of those two the living room is, is kind of more so when I have my conversations with my grandmother. When I'm sitting down, eating my food, or just doing whatever. But th- that, that's also a challenge, though, because that could be a distraction. 
but I also value family time too. And that's like the only way I can get fam- family time with just me and my grandmother. And yeah, my grandmother's the only person I have in my family, so that's why that's why it's just me and her. So. Just understanding that yeah, family times is valuable. Because if she's in a situation, I want to see how I can help her out. If I'm in a situation, she sees how she can help me out. You know, we're a team, and we come up with new ideas or or something, or like seeing what needs to be done. Usually on a simple task, like do we have water? Uh, do we have food? Basic stuff like that. Do the do the clothes need to be clean? We you know we go to the the laundromat. So, <clears throat> yeah, stuff like that. And and then but then we'll schedule when we're gonna do those things. And then I let her know my schedule. And just so like so that way I can do other things. And then I know what she's doing, and I could be aware. It's just teamwork. So, but going back to non-negotiable, yeah, like I was talking about just me being in the living room, how I, how I am in the living room, still trying to be productive, talking about what I'm gonna do in the future, and just just, just talking about it. But obviously, I, I'm still I'm not perfect. I'm still overcoming my own challenges when it comes to discipline when it comes to get, getting rid of the bad habits because when once you get rid of the bad habits this discipline becomes a lot easier so it's about removing so i guess for me my challenge is to kind of not be so much in the living room when i don't need to and just be as productive as i'm supposed to i don't know your situation I don't know what your distraction is or what's holding you back, but whatever it is, you got to remove it, but you also have to set up rules for you to level up and succeed. So, it's all non-negotiable. Non-negotiable rules. I got to go to the gym, right? I got to wake up early. I have to make some money. I have to make sure I'm progressing in my education to go to the next level. So my education, my fitness, my finance, my daily activity and schedule, family time, what else? You know, those are the most important things that come to mind. But doing those things, making sure I do them, it's non-negotiable non-negotiable obviously the the phone is is the biggest distraction in the world right all of us have a phone in our pocket we all have the tiktok we all have the instagram we all have facebook youtube all that stuff you gotta limit that i noticed that for me that was the biggest distraction because you have all these different social media apps on your phone so you can always be stimulated at all times so you gotta make sure that that's limited and I would say if you're someone that's not doing anything productive find something productive an example I could give that I personally do I was trying to think of an example for you guys but I'll give you an example of what I do I read books, I read a whole bunch of books I could let you guys know what I'm reading too. So, I actually ordered a few books recently. I ordered the the Mountain Is You. I think that's the name. It's a, it's a self improvement book. So I recently ordered that, and I ordered the the book set of of Robert Greene. What I've been reading is non negotiable by Wes Watson. That's what I've been reading. Because I like, I really admire stories of people that went through hard times. 
and got through it and really made something out of themselves. So I found a lot of admiration towards that. Well, I found a lot of respect towards that. So that's why I'm reading that. And I think it's dope. So just going through something hard, some really low adversity. <laughs> adversity. Going through something and just still coming, still coming out on top. So that, that's what I'm currently reading on the final chapter. But yeah, it's actually one of my favorite books that I read. But yeah, I mean, for you, I don't know what productive habit that you can create for you. It might be, it might be writing, it might be journaling. I also do that too. I do self reflections. I just uh, self reflected last night in my journal, and I'm gonna do it soon later on today. So I'm doing that, and I'm also I'm also reading. I'm always trying to learn a new perspective from somebody who's actually had life experience, very much life experience. So I'm still a work in progress myself, but I also want to speak and help out people that you know, people that haven't had another perspective. Or don't know another perspective. So. Hopefully I come across you. Hopefully I can relate to you. Hopefully you get to find value. From what I say in these. And that will be awesome. So. I love and appreciate all of you. If you find value in what I say. Like and subscribe. If you find value, like and subscribe. I love and appreciate all of you. And we out.